Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, 10 problems I have completed on binomial distribution. In this video, 11th problem I'm going to complete. The next video will be the last video on binomial. So if you want the perfect knowledge on this topic, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't skip in between and jo don't join in between. And one more thing, without understanding the theory, we should not come to the problem. So I suggest you be thorough regarding what is this binomial distribution, when it is applied, how it is applied, what is the formula. All these things I have explained in the theory video. So go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject, statistics for management. Select the video of binomial distribution, be perfect and then come to this video. Now before starting the 11th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep the problems ready. Take the screenshot of the points of 11th problem, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the 11th one. <clears throat> eight coins are tossed at a time. So every time eight coins are simultaneously tossed. For how many times? 256 times. That means this experiment is done for 256 times. Eight, eight coins were tossed. Number of heads observed at each throw is recorded and the results are given below. Find the expected frequencies. Number of heads at a throw, zero head. That means all the eight coins are showing tails, no head at all. This happened for two times. Out of 256 times, two times this happened that no head, complete all eight are tails. Then one head, that means out of eight coins, one coin is shown is showing head. Remaining seven coins are showing tails. This happened for six times. Then two head and six tails. This happened 30 times. Three head and five tails. This happened for 52 times. These are the actual observations. Actual frequencies are given. From this, we have to apply the we have to apply the binomial distribution to find out the expected frequencies. Now, whenever a coin is thrown, the probability of getting head up is one by two. Because the total outcomes when you throw the coin is to head or tail, the probability of head is 1 by 2 and probability of tail is 1 by 2. So whenever a coin is thrown, P is equal to 1 by 2, Q is equal to 1 by 2. How many coins are thrown at a time? 8 coins. The so small n is equal to 8. How many times these coins are thrown? 256 times. So capital N is equal to 256. You can see the chance of getting a head in a single throw of one coin is 1 by 2. Hence P. P stands for probability of getting head. P stands for probability of getting head is 1 by 2. Q is equal to 1 minus P. 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. N is equal to 8. And capital N is equal to 256 times. This is the data available. Now, according to binomial probability law, the probability of R successes is P of R is equal to N C R P to the power of R Q to the power of N minus R already so many every time we are applying the law, binomial probability law. Now, P of R is equal to N. N is 8. So, 8 C R 1 by 2 to the power of R 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus R. P is 1 by 2. Q is 1 by 2. This is the formula we are going to apply for R successes. Now expected frequencies. Whatever P of R you get, multiply the P of R with capital N. Capital N is 256. So 256 into P of R, you will get the expected frequency. Now this is the fitting of binomial distribution. N. Here X, sorry, X. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. X stands for number of heads in a throw. In a throw of 8 coins, how many heads? The 0 head, 1 head, 2 head like that. Right? So P of 0. So P of R is equal to N C R P to the power of R Q to the power of N minus R. N, N is 8. 8 C R half to the power of R half to the power of 8 minus R. Now we substitute the values. 
p of 0 is 8 c 0 half to the power of 0 and half to the power of 8 minus 0 right similarly p of 1 8 c 1 half to the power of 1 and half to the power of 8 minus 1 8 c 2 p of 2 is 8 c 2 half to the power of 2 half to the power of 8 minus 2 like this we calculate up to 8 c 8 half to the power of 8 half to the power of 8 minus 8 these are the calculations we have to make now this ncr 8c0 8c1 8c2 8c3 like that up to 8c8 we can calculate manually separately or we can make use of pascal's triangle we'll get the same values if you calculate separately 8c0 8c1 8c2 it is a time consuming process more time is required to save the time i am using pascal's triangle in examination also we can make use this pascal's triangle to find out the value of ncr right from 8c0 to 8c8 all the values we can get from pascal's triangle how to make the pascal's triangle n is equal to 8 so we'll take n 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right first when n is equal to 1 take two ones 1 1 in the center in the center write on 1 1 apart leave some gap between this 1 1 the first over now come to second one in second one add up 1 plus 1 put 2 in the middle 1 plus 1 2 in the middle then again write on 1 on the left side and 1 on the right side 1 1 always 1 1 we are going to write on left side 1 on right side 1 so here 1 plus 1 is 2 then here also 1 here also 1 then third one 1 plus 2 is 3 put the in center 2 plus 1 is 3 again you write on 1 1 so 3 items 3 and over now fourth 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus 3 is 6 3 plus 1 is 4 again you write on 1 1 at the extreme ends fifth one 1 plus 4 is 5 4 plus 6 is 10 6 plus 4 is 10 4 plus 1 is 5 again you write on 1 1 now sixth one 1 plus 5 is 6 5 plus 10 15 10 plus 10 20 10 plus 5 15 5 plus 1 6 again you write on 1 1 now come to 7th one. 1 plus 6, 7. 6 plus 15, 21. 15 plus 20, 35. 20 plus 15, 35. 35 plus 6, 21. 6 plus 1, 7. Next again, 1, 1. So 7 over. Now 8. 8th is the last one. 7 plus 1 is 8. 7 plus 21, 28. 21 plus 35, 56. 35 plus 35, 70. 35 plus 21, 56. 21 plus 7, 28. 7 plus 1, 8. 1, 1. That's all. We have calculated from 1 to 8. Now we got all the values from 8C0 to 8C8. The first value 1 is 8C0. The second value 8 is 8C1. Third value 28 is 8C2. Then 8C3, 8C4, 8C5, 8C6, 8C7, 8C8. All the values we got NCR. Right? Now, here what do you observe is the bases are same. Mathematically, when bases are same, powers can be added. That is a rule in mathematics. So here, half to the power of 0, half to the power of 8 minus 0. 8 minus 0 is 8. Bases are same, half of the powers will be added 0 plus 8 will be 8 second half to the power of 1 half to the power of 7 8 minus 1 is 7 the 1 plus 7 8 2 plus 6 8 3 plus 5 8 4 plus 4 8 5 plus 3 8 6 plus 2 8 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 0 8 so what do you observe in all these cases the bases are same so we have added the powers if you add the powers in all cases we are getting 8 power 8 so only once we calculate half to the power of 8 <coughs> when bases are same powers can be added half to the power of 8 <coughs> that means 1 is multiplied 8 times in numerator 2 is multiplied 8 times in denominator if you multiply 1 8 times you get 1 if you multiply 
2 8 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 right like this 8 times if you multiply at least you multiply for 4 times 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 2 is a 16 so 4 times you got 16 we want 8 times so 16 into 16 you will get 256 so 1 by 256 so 1 by 8 1 by 2 to the power of 8 you will get 1 by 256 only once you calculate you will get all the values because all the cases it is same p of 0 is 8c0 8c0 already we know it 1 right into half to the power of 8 half to the power of 8 is 1 by 256 so p of 0 is 1 by 256 so here i have taken 1 by 256 p of 1 is P of uh, here, 8C1, 8C1 is 8. So 8 into 1 by 256, 8 by 256. P of 2, P of 2 means 8C2, 8C2, 28. So 28 into 1 by 256, 28 by 256. P of 3, 8C3, 8C3 is 56. 56 into 1 by 256, 56 by 256. All these values I have taken here. Here also same thing. P of 4 is 70. Here 8C4 is 70. 70 into 1 by 256. 70 by 2. Like that we have calculated up to P8. So we got these values. Right? Now ultimately we want the expected frequencies. That means N into P of R. N into P of R. So 256 is N into P of R. So 256 into 1 by 256. You will get 1. Right? Similarly, 256 into 8 by 256. So here 256, 256 get cancelled. 8. Then 256 into 28 by 256. 256, 256 cancelled. 28. Then 56, 70, 56, 28, 8, 1. These are the expected frequencies. That's all. Ha, so this is the end of 11th problem. So totally 11 problems have completed on binomial distribution. Last one more problem. 12th problem is left that problem i'll do it in the next video inshallah so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel among your friends among your group so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video